The land of time's clock tower had struck midnight, plunging all of Earth's children into an endless nightmare. And worse yet, the Moonbear King had sent Dragon to harvest their souls. Act 6 is getting messy indeed. Dragon had been called forth from his celestial roost to bring judgment down upon all who dared to defy his ruthless master. And it was none other than Dragon who spirited away the souls of children each night on the tyrant's behalf. That's right, Dragon was part of the reason Kutaro got dragged into this mess in the first place. But now, the stakes were much higher. The souls of every last boy and girl on Earth. Having parted the heavens and opened a portal to Earth, Dragon set to work harvesting the souls of children from the coils of their nightmares. Dragon! Bring me those souls right now! <laughs> If the Moon Bear King devours all those, we'll have a disaster on our hands! Not only will I not rule the Moon, he'll rule the whole dark universe! Come on, Kutaro! Hop to it! Stop that monster! Whoosh! Kutaro watched Dragon soar off with a host of children's souls in his wake. <laughs> Karina at his side, Kutaro hopped the stride the newly emancipated Mr. Pink and raced after General Dragon. By some miracle, they caught up. We have to stop him, no matter what! Hold on! Dark clouds hung heavy over the Black Castle as General Dragon hurtled home as fast as he could. Mr. Pink skimmed along the Dragon's back as Kutaro held on tight. I suppose now would be a good time to lay down the facts. Well, there's nothing to lay them on, but metaphorically speaking, you see, I'm primarily an academic. I look after a big clock for a living, and... Man, if I knew spicy food would shut him up, I would have ordered some buffalo wings hours ago. Dashingly, Mr. Pink leapt over Dragon's blade-like fin. Boats of lightning struck at this. Storm power shocked in vain. Nothing could stop them as they raced up the riding dragon's back to the heavens. Use the balloon to jump! Mr. Pig flapped so hard, his wings looked ready to snap. Whence came this passion? Was it rage toward the Moon Bear King for using him as a clock hat? Was it a sense of justice, a need to undo his mistakes? Well, it's damnable bad luck is what it is. What do you mean by mistakes? I'm not the one who broke the clock. Besides, the warranty ran out ages ago. That's right. Damn the lightning death that was raining down on him. Mr. Pink was determined to set things right. Yeah, that's not what I said. Don't spam the big stories. General Dragon tore across the sky with his sinister prize in tow. Soon, he would deliver all these children to his master. Oh my gracious lad, what have you done? What is to say, what are you doing with my head? There can't be two of yours truly unless... Yes, of course, I can't see it, but it is perfectly clear. Now, let's get right down to it. Down to what? Where are you going? So, you think you can go beak to beak with old GMT, that is to say, Galahad with Mulberry Times are wasting, aka Mr. Pink, in the field of gentlemanly rhetoric. Fiddlesticks! While I salute your linguistic tenderness and duly note a certain congruence in our countenances, purely inconsequential, mind you, I find you woefully presumptuous to presume your words are hard. General Dragon tore across the sky with his sinister prize in tow. Soon, he would deliver all these hurry! children to his you master. You want the Moonbear King to gobble up the soul of every last kid on Earth? You say hurry like I'm not already hurrying. 
Hey, which I am, by the way, but I am a flamingo in case you haven't noticed. Mr. Pink's body coarse with the hot, holy justice of capsaicin. Ah! The bird's heart and muscles swell with new purpose after every massive, heavily kick. Ah! Oh! My heart! A cyclone tossed Kutaro into the path of lightning and rain, but these and more he cut in twain. Either the Clock Tower disaster or General Dragon's own power had triggered a great cataclysm. Volcanoes exploded in a salvo of magma destruction as fireballs rained down from the mountain. Kutaro picked up speed, bounded along the balloons, and rocketed right through the eruption. Don't I get any credit? Our hero sliced through rain and dodged bolts of lightning as he tamed the vicious storm. We need to get through these clouds! It's your head that's in the clouds and you expect me to fly when I can't even see where I'm going, which would be just like you, actually! Kutaro had done a little surgery, did the proud and powerful dragon finally Did give you him the seriously time just cut off my tail? Tell me you didn't just cut off my tail, because that is just red! Don't even make me smell out the dookie you're in right now! Watch the right! That is nothing! I'll just smash you instead! Watch the left! That ain't nothing! That's it! Almost there! Our hero dodged searing balls of fire and danced between dragons' razor-sharp scales as they battled atop the clouds. Just too chicken to fight Kataro, coward! 
You wanna just let me finish this job for the bad father, huh? I just gotta drop off these souls, and then I can tear you into weedy little pieces! Sliced right through Dragon's thunder clouds as he raced across the ether. This is my sky, my clouds. You don't get to be a wise guy with me. Great. Now we've upgraded to full-on dragon breath. Drunk where that came from. I got more drunk where that came from.
right, kid? Let's settle this like men! The Dragon Man! Bring it on! You got me. After an epic battle, the wicked dragon has been slain, and the souls of the children were free once again. Katara, Another piece of the puzzle! <laughs> Just one more card! And Monkey's business is no match for ours. Hey! Wait just a solar second! We beat Dragon! What gives? You're too late! All you did was ensure the gateway between the Earth and Moon stays open! Now, I need only wait. <laughs> Soon, the Moon Bear King would possess a more terrible power than ever. But Katara risked everything to stop the dragon. It can't have been for nothing. No, it's too soon to give up. We've still got the Moon Goddess. If we put the Moonstone back together, we can bring her back too. And with her on our side, that half-baked grizzly is toast. We've got to stay positive. Let's go find Monkey and make him cough up that last piece. That's right. You'll get your goddess. Now would you just hurry up? Goddess or no goddess, the tyrant's too strong now. If we get the moonstone back, Mew should send Kutaro home where he belongs. Don't be crazy. Why would I ever do that? Kutaro is our last hope, especially mine. <laughs> Stuck that warty nose of yours in my business for the last time! <laughs> Yowzers, this is terrible. With the dragon down and one moonstone shard to go, Kutura was certainly on a run. But with the witch in the tyrant's clutches and the power of countless souls at stake, it seemed the rolling would be uphill from here on out. <laughs>